Come on, work. Good afternoon to those who listen. It is August 6, 2018, 2.31 p.m., and I have to do a story on... Come on now, work. Why is it jumping all over the place? I had to do this on this because uh, Alex Jones has just been shut down from YouTube, Facebook, and Apple, and they have a statement that... Re- uh, pertains to anybody that's putting out information like this so I'm warning everybody now and you know I'm not trying to do fear mongering some people were commenting that I'm doing fear mongering like on the Hawaii thing I'm just trying to warn people about what the possibilities that could be happen from uh, this hurricane and other stuff that could happen and I'm trying to warn people about uh, Facebook YouTube shutting people down and not not talking just about my channel talking about all the people that are doing channels uh, that are showing you know stuff about Planet X, the Sun, the stars, the Moon, uh, whatever, and anything that they consider fake or false news, they consider as fear mongering, and they're shutting people down. And I'm telling you now, if I, my channel gets, if you see a lot of channels getting shut down suddenly, then prepare for something because something is going to happen. Because then you're not going to be able to get any information from any of these channels anymore, and then. There, who knows what could happen so I'm telling you now uh, if my channel goes down please go to my other backup channel to those who will listen to with the number two and so uh, you don't have to subscribe but just uh, keep that in your mind and when that happens go to that channel if something happens to my channel because you know they're cracking down on this and uh, here's the <clears throat> here's the report you suggested the Sandy Hook school shooting was a hoax and that these September 11th terror attacks were an inside job by the government. I'm talking about Alex Jones. He is the founder of InfoWars, and he is now feeling the heat himself. YouTube, Facebook, and Apple all announcing they're removing his content from their platforms. Here's how YouTube explained its decision. Quote, when users violate policies repeatedly, like our policies against hate speech and harassment or our terms prohibiting circumvention of our enforcement measures, we terminate their accounts. With me now, uh, CNN Money's senior media reporter, Oliver Darcy, and you were just saying, I mean, you, you were surprised that they took this kind of action so swiftly. Yeah, this happened very quickly over the past 24 hours. Uh, it seems to really have been prompted perhaps by Apple. Apple last night removed the entire library of Alex Jones's podcast wow. from their store. And then we saw, uh, we've seen throughout the day, actually, tech platforms just basically remove Alex Jones from their websites uh, after Apple removed the, the podcast. Uh, then Facebook came out this morning, and actually really early in the morning, and they said that they had unpublished uh, Infowars and other pages associated with Alex Jones. Yeah. And then YouTube, which had previously uh, issued some sort of suspension effectively where they couldn't live stream, uh, decided to remove their YouTube page altogether. And uh, now we're just kind of seeing other tech platforms, small ones even, uh, just associate with, with Alex Jones. Obviously, what he spews is hate and it's abhorrent, but how many folks are on the other side saying freedom of speech? A lot of people right. are, uh, particularly Jones' defenders, are, are saying that they're worried that this might lead to other pages, particularly conservative media pages, uh, being removed. I, I think it's important to note, though, that Alex Jones had really flagrantly violated a lot of the community standards that YouTube, that Facebook, that Apple have had in place for quite some time. And actually, if you look at it, um, they, they say that they removed them because they violated the standards, but these, the Alex Jones have been violating these standards for, for some time, yeah. uh, and they only actually took action after weeks of media pressure, after weeks of the media outlets saying, you know, you say that this would violate your standards, so why is this still being allowed to be posted? And so Apple was the first at the bat this morning, or last night, sorry, with the uh, removal of his content, uh, and now we're seeing it triple so it was Apple and then the domino effect. Um, Oliver Darcy, thank you so much. So, anytime that they uh, decide that somebody's content is, you know, violating their terms, they can easily cancel their accounts. And as you heard there, Apple shut down uh, his entire library and got rid of his entire library for how many years? I don't know, but wow. So, just be wary if you see a whole bunch of channels suddenly going down, something's about to happen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. God bless.